Shortest by request uh, by Flea. I'm Flea's puppet, basically. Flea says, wear the shirt. And I say, yes, sir. In my defense, he paid for this shirt and I didn't. So, if you want free stuff, you got to go along with it. So, that is the story of that. <sighs> Friday, 7.15 p.m., so late. So much work. I'm not supposed to work on Fridays. Came in. It's my own fault. I talked about how much work I didn't have yesterday. So as a result, I had piles and piles of work today. And I'm going to have piles and piles of work to do on Monday. My own fault. Never talk about how little work you have to do. Because it will bite you in the ass. Ow, my ass. So, that's why it's so late. Uh, I had other stuff to do. And now I'm getting around to this. Currently, let's find out. Is it really 88 degrees? I will tell you, about an hour ago, it was 102 degrees. That was the unofficial high of the day. And without warning, well, I wasn't given any warning. We had this tremendous flash flood. There was hail, but it was so hot out that the hail instantly melted as soon as it landed. So I don't think it got very big. It was big enough to be very noisy on the roof and to distract me from the work I was supposed to be doing to go look outside like, ooh, look at all the weather. Even though a tremendous amount of water came out, it was so hot outside, it just kind of, it's all kind of fizzled away. If you were to go out now, it would be a little damp, but it would not look like it had rained much at all. It's supposed to rain more later. Naturally, after the flash flood ended, the Severe thunderstorm watch started, so way to go, weather bug. You're really on top of it. The heat warning, the heat advisory, all that stuff expired at 7, as it was scheduled to do anyway. But the severe thunderstorm watch, that's new, so it may rain a lot. What hopefully will happen is it will cool down. So current temperature is now 84 degrees, so it's kind of worked. But it's kind of fun watching Weatherbug just go from 101 to 89 like that. And that'll happen. Which is good because it was too hot to go home. The air conditioning actually hasn't stopped here. I thought it stopped at 6.30, but maybe they finally figured out daylight savings time and they rolled it back to 7.30. Here's to you. I hope you're hydrating. Especially if it's as hot where you were, where you are, as I am here in beautiful, scenic Roseville, Minnesota, from Semantic One and my larger than it looks office. I got a comment on YouTube, but I think it was from Cerebus because he is the guy who would be in charge of such things, telling me that the Beastmaster has been up there too long and they need to replace the poster. And you're right, and I've been too lazy to do it, and I think I have to shift some other stuff around because the next poster is bigger than that one. And I can't remember if it's one that I've shown or not, so I won't spoil the surprise if I haven't, but I may have to move the Timberwolves to get it to fit in there. Timberwolves are moving, too. Michael Beasley moved all the way to Phoenix, which leads me to a comment on the W from Pie Man. I know you have posted some thoughts on the basketball in that forum, but any expansion on Beasley to the Suns? To expand or revise my remarks. I think I pretty much covered everything I was going to say. That I love Michael Beasley, and I think he's great. As aggravating and as infuriating as he was when it came to shooting really long twos instead of going ahead to shoot for threes, he, uh, you know, flashes of brilliance. He had that game-winning shot against the Clippers that one time. Was it the Clippers? Nah, I can't remember. It was a, a bit ago, a season and a half ago. But I'll miss his crazy hairdos. I'll miss his ability to perform pack karaoke 
If you've never seen uh, Timberwolves Wolves Karaoke, actually I think it's just called Pack Karaoke, but Beasley uh, did a command performance on Unbreak My Heart. Pretty sure it was Unbreak My Heart. And also a, uh, was it a Backstreet Boys song? Tearing Up My Heart? Yeah. A, a couple of them are on YouTube. The Timberwolves Game Ops people shared the videos with the world, which they should have done because they're awesome. So I'm going to miss that. But on the court, no, he's just too frustrated. He doesn't play defense. His offense is, um, well, yeah, erratic, much like much like uh, Bees the Man is. But I love Bees the Man. I will continue to follow him on Twitter. I hope he stays on Twitter, and I hope that he has nothing but success in Phoenix, although hopefully his success in Phoenix will not lead to the Suns beating the Timberwolves several times. So we got Brandon Roy, which is all we ever wanted. I heard the guy has no knees. But we're still going to pay him $5 million a year. So, I'm a fan of this move, actually. The problem with the Timberwolves is they will build leads, and they will go into the fourth quarter with a lead, and then they will proceed to piss that lead away and lose. And I think Brandon Roy is the kind of guy that will help shore up that problem. So I don't need him for a full 48. I just need him for the fourth quarter. If I can get... I don't expect him to play out 12 minutes either. But if he's a 15 to 20 minute guy, you know, a quarter is only 12 minutes. So if you can give us a quarter's worth of effort over the course of a game, I think that's going to help, and I think that's going to make a big difference. And that's the difference between, you know, five or six wins, which are close, or five or six losses, which are close. And that could be a difference to get us into the playoffs. I do want to get into the playoffs. I don't care if we're a number eight seed or a number six seed. Let's get to the playoffs, and then we can worry about why we don't get farther in the playoffs. But one step at a time here. I think there's a short window here. The trick is to get good enough to convince Kevin Love and Ricky Rubio that they need to stick around. And I think the right moves are being made. And I think the unseen hand of Rick Adelman is, is guiding Mr. Khan, we can hope, and Mr. Taylor's money. Uh, what else? Nash to Lakers? That's, eh, whatever. Lakers. <laughs> Jason Terry to the Celtics. I have not heard a thing about that story, but I've been a little busy today. Well, I have a third flag shirt for the week. I wore three flag shirts this week, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Go back and watch. Uh, no, this is uh, my request from Flea. Look how enormous this shirt is, too. I mean, Flea, Flea knows. i got to have a shirt that's much bigger than I am to make me look... Really fat? I don't know. What's this say on the back? They pulled these, you know, so we were real lucky Flea got a hold of them and sent me one. <sighs> anyway, did I? was that everything everyone said that I was supposed to take care of? I keep feeling like there are things I want to talk about. I went the whole week without talking about the BET Awards, which were last Sunday. So I didn't encourage you to watch the Encore, which was Tuesday. I love the BET Awards. But you got to watch them live because you have to watch Twitter at the same time. Specifically black Twitter. Because white Twitter is not doing a lot of Twitter, Twittering, tweeting about the BET Awards. I think I can say that without being racist. There are not a lot of white people tweeting about the BET Awards. But it's hilarious. Because there are some people who are really into it, and then, then there are those people who love Chris Brown no matter how many times he beats up Rihanna, and then there are some people who are just ashamed of the whole thing and and think it's perpetuating stereotypes and it's just not right for the proper, uh, you know, brother to be participating in coonery, which I don't think it is. Now, granted, there are some people there... And like when they go off and they do the gospel segment and some people in the crowd start... Uh, oh, what about Jamie Foxx, though, wearing his Trayvon Martin statement t-shirt? Mm. Yes. But anyway, the tribute to Whitney Houston was unbelievable. It's just a shame that in order to get such great performances out of Chaka Khan and Sissy Houston and her brother, Whitney had to die. I wish we could have tremendous performances without people dying first. Can we can we work on that, please? 
and Frankie Beverly and Mays, ah, the greatest. That made me think of Gary Radnich for some reason. And now we're going way into the weeds. And I think my 10 minutes is up anyway because I started the timer late. So let me wrap up. It's been a, quite a week, isn't it? America's a year older. We're all a year older. Thanks for watching. Come back next week. We'll do it all again. And hopefully by then I will have finally washed my hair and maybe shaved again. Uh, think of think of how sexy I'm gonna look on Monday. Oh man! Except I gotta get here early, so I'll be a zombie. We'll let those contests fight with each other, and we'll see what comes out uh, next Monday. Thanks for watching. I love you. I'll see you next week. God willing.